Hey fam, hope you're doing well wherever you are. I'm Angel Zalal, and for those of you who are new, and for those of you who keep coming back, I thank you. So today I want us to talk about um, a story revolving around graduates in the UK. This happened last year. Uh, I've been meaning to talk about it and never did. Here I am, let's talk about it. So, what was their name? Alex and Oli. They are British students that graduated expecting and hoping for employment, had plans for their future, and reality hit and nobody hired them. And it didn't help that the pandemic was at its peak last year. So they couldn't find the job. They were stressed for quite a while, but then came up with an idea to hijack uh, some of the agencies that are in, in the UK, take their name and create um, a username on TikTok. So those agencies, those companies didn't have a TikTok account yet. So these two graduates noticed that opened an account and threatened uh, the companies. Let me just show you the clip, we'll come back and discuss. We are the very serious partners. We have taken the TikTok accounts of the best agencies in the industry hostage. Our demands are simple. Give us a placement and we'll return the account safe and sound. Click below to open negotiations. You have 72 hours. As you saw, these two graduates threatened the agencies. If they don't give them a job, uh, they'll be posting some weird stuff on there. Um, why did I bring this topic up today? Well, I brought this up because unemployment is clearly an issue in Africa. It's not just in Africa, as you saw, it's also in the UK. It can be anywhere, but I would say um, we have a high number of unemployment, if we're going to be honest. So our youth are struggling. That's nothing new. So to see this young man coming up with a plan, this clearly is not that deep, right? They're not committing any crime. But the fact that they were able to think creatively and tap into that they wanted to work for those companies they didn't get a chance they were told we don't have space so they created space for themselves funny enough just to forward a little bit and tell you now they got the job one company offered them a job so there's that too but my main point in bringing this topic up is because if if the position or the place is not open for you just be creative open it yourself if that door is closed bust it open if you know if you see it closed even if you don't want to bust it open open the window and leave i'm just i'm just being dramatic here but i'm just saying we can do something you know out of nothing now this guy's got noticed because they try to think creatively they try to think outside the box they didn't sit down and say okay um it's the pandemic there's no job and we're just going to be depressed about it they actually went out there and tried to do something and it worked that's why we're talking about them and they're a great example on um how to not settle for situations that are out there if we look closely to people that made it in this world made it being success being a ceo having money being an entrepreneur people that we look up to those people had to work really hard not all of them obviously but stories that attract me personally are the ones that they started from nowhere and look at them now or it doesn't even have to be just about money it can be disadvantaged some people are dyslexic and they they create richard richard is dyslexic imagine or um kevin o'leary i believe that's his name he's dyslexic as well people with disadvantage that you wouldn't think that they will reach there reach there because they won't settle they won't say i have the sickness so what do you do i'm unemployed so what do i do they go out there and make it happen for themselves so these two young men did something that we can tap into look at and try to reverse engineer whatever they did and try to do it ourselves as well so now thankfully you know what we have good for us this generation is there's internet there's social media there's phones everything is connected so a lot of jobs right now can be done at the comfort of your home or you just need to have a laptop so just just do your research don't give up and come up with something just think outside the box that's the story for today anyways guys hope you took something from this or at least you know 
you were entertained by the thought process these two young men had. I am Angel Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.